Hello, my sweet beloved. Welcome to this message. Here I decided to talk about the devil or the devils. <laughs> it's not just one. Now, the fact that there are more evil entities around the world, this is known. And this is known to almost everybody. And it is stated in such notions as demons. Now, what demons actually mean, the word demon, that's for another session, but... The thing is that while there are more, call them demons or evil beings or evil doers or however you want to call them, while there are many of those, the human subconscious has been getting this idea of a devil, like a, a, an evil entity who kind of rules them somehow. Like an evil entity from whom they all come or who sends them to do stuff. And it kind of is true, but the thing is that there is not just one devil. And now I'll be getting into some astrological stuff. Whether you believe this or not, the planets are still going to revolve in the sky. So <laughs> there are three devils. One of them outside of our solar system and two of them in our solar system, part of our solar system. These two which are part of our solar system, are Saturn, which is exactly that being whom mythologies have called Satan, and also Kronos in ancient Greece. The other devil is Pluto, the god of the underworld. Don't get me wrong, they are very good energies when you learn, when you understand them and when you overcome the lessons which they bring, the challenges which they bring. With Saturn, there are hardships, obstacles, a lot of challenges, restrictions, limitations of life. And just by naming them like this, they don't sound that bad, but for some people they may get very bad, especially for those who have a poor placed Saturn in their horoscope, in their natal chart, or just a, a very challenging house, like a Saturn placed in a very challenging house in their horoscope. But Saturn brings maturity. Once you learn the lessons of Saturn, you are mature and you are no longer afraid. Saturn also rules fear. And once again, once you learn the positive manifestation of the negative, I, I know it doesn't sound, it, it doesn't make sense, sense at first. But what these energies bring, what these entities, because planets are living entities, they are just souls, not just souls, they are souls coming just at a different level of incarnation, different than the human type of incarnation. They are souls. Now, these two energies will at first bring you stuff which may seem very negative. But out of those negative things, there are many treasures to be grown because of the challenges which you face through them. The other devil is Pluto. And now Pluto is mythologically the god of the underworld and it makes a lot of sense astrologically. Now, parentheses, mythology is just the code, the key of astrology. 
mythology talks about gods and goddesses, whether those gods and goddesses be actual gods and goddesses coming incarnate at a human level in a human body, or gods and goddesses still incarnate in their planetary forms, impacting the human level of existence through their astrological placements. And mythologically, Pluto is the god of the underworld. Now, it is exactly that. Pluto is an energy which doesn't want to come to the surface. It is the, the energy of the conscious and subconscious, meaning that it gives you psychology. Once you understand this energy, you, you are able to very much understand yourself, to psychoanalyze yourself, which is tremendously healthy. Pluto rules Scorpio. Saturn rules Capricorn and Pluto rules Scorpio. Now, those of you who know some astrology, you know that Scorpio comes with crisis, a lot of crisis. And indeed, Pluto, whenever you have a Pluto transit, Pluto will bring you crisis, emotional crisis. And if you have Taurus, for example, placed in the eighth house, which is the house of Scorpio and Pluto in the horoscope, if you have Taurus there, you may have a lot of financial crisis, um, food crisis, or if you have Pluto transiting your fourth house, which is the house of your family and your property, your home space, you will have crisis in your home space, crisis in your family. There will be a lot of predators from your own family coming to attack you and stuff like that. So... It's a very challenging energy. Pluto also rules over the dark cabal, over literally demons, over dark entities, evildoers, abusers, pedophiles, rapists, rapists, and stuff like that. It's it's a very savage energy. It's the energy of abuse. And it's not nice at all when you have to deal with this but as i told you these are energies to be overcome and once we overcome them we are able to overcome the third devil the third devil is draco draco is a star in this galaxy and around the star there is the native planet of the Draconians, which are the Reptilians, which are present on this earth, enslaving humankind. And they have been using the energies of Pluto and Saturn. Remember how many Satanists there are in media all over the world. Actually, media is a tool of Satanists and the dark cabal and the dark elite. So, the reptilians have been using the energies of these two devils of our own solar system in order to solidify their grasp on humankind, to solidify their control over humankind. Mythologically, there are stories about Saturn by his many names, also Baal, or, or also another S name from the Babylonian mythology. It's still him. Stories about him wanting, wishing to enslave humanity, to rule over humanity. And he's had a contract with the Draconians, Reptilians, to help one another in doing so and this happened you can see it also there is a third devil in our own solar system but this devil is easier to not overcome to to be understood it is mars mars the planet the god of war what Mars will bring as negative manifestations are anger, violence, 
war and from my perspective this is the easiest energy to integrate into a positive manifestation exactly because right now there is so much need of light warriors of wholehearted warriors of the light which you know in this context is not about going to a physical war is the war of consciousness so as I said, the energy of Mars is the first to, to be integrated into the positive side, the positive spiral. And it, it's happened. It, it's happening. It started happening and it is happening. The reintegration of the martial energy into a more positive manifestation. This is happening. Now, what we, as a collective, have to do, still have to do, is to bring into positive manifestations the other two devils of the solar system, which I mentioned are Saturn and Pluto. Again, don't get me wrong, they are very good energies, all of them, all the planets, once you understand them. This is the thing, it's the thing of understanding them. Understanding how to cope with these energies and how to integrate them and how to use them. They are there in your chart, in your birth chart to use them. And remember this, which I tell you now. Any energy you yourself do not use, which is present in your birth chart, it will use you. Okay, now, again, there are severe transits with Saturn and Pluto, I know. But this is, an, going further with this topic, is about personal experience and personal experience. If you need help with that, contact me in private. Now, as I said, once we learn how to integrate these... Th I started by saying two devils of our own solar system and now I mentioned the third one. But this is because, as I said, the martial energy is getting into a more positive manifestation for us. And for this I thank you, all the warriors of light, of consciousness, of love. And once again, with this message, I, I tell you how important astrology is, how vital it is for everyone to understand it. Obviously, it is not imperative for everyone to understand it like an astrologer does, but it is necessary to be aware of those energies because they impact you. And then again, as I said, is the external devil, which is Draco and the Draconians. And once we ourselves as a collective have conquered the native devils to say so which have been corrupted by the draconians once we learn how to bring them back to a more positive manifestation we're good <laughs> i love you and i thank you for your mission for your purpose for being here i love you so much Go spread the light, go spread the love, be free.